Today, I want to tell you a story. But this isn't a story about my ice cream. No, this story is much bigger than that. This is the story of physical determinism, the ultimate counter to free will. Our modern understanding of physical determinism begins in 1814, when Pierre-Simon Laplace publishes a philosophical essay on probabilities. He writes, We may regard the present state of our universe as the effect of its past and the cause of its future. To understand this, let's take my ice cream. If I were to leave it out in the sun for too long, the laws of thermodynamics dictate that it must melt. Furthermore, they dictate exactly how long it will take to melt and what areas will melt first. The cause is heat. And the effect is the melting of my ice cream. And maybe me too. But what does all this have to do with free will? Well, let's go back a bit. When I was purchasing this ice cream, I was trying to choose between strawberry and mint. Why did I choose strawberry? Well, my favorite color is red, and my grandmother used to make me delicious strawberry pies. Uh, furthermore, my dentist used mint-flavored gloves, and so my teeth ache whenever I smell mint. So it wasn't my free will that made me buy strawberry, but instead my experiences. But without context, that's a whole lot of crazy, so let's start from the beginning. It's 500 BCE, and Heraclitus, the weeping philosopher, declares, Having hearkened not to me, but to the word, it is wise to agree that all things are one. Yeah, Heraclitus wasn't too concerned with being easy to understand, but his message was more than madness. And that message was that the universe is governed by laws, and that these laws, like the one that dictated my ice cream should melt, apply to everything. And this basic understanding would prove to be the foundation for physical determinism in centuries to come. Now, cut to Iran, 1,500 years after the time of Heraclitus, where Omar Khayyam, a Persian philosopher, writes in his book, The Rubaiyat, And the first morning of creation wrote what the last dawn of reckoning shall read. Here, Omar encapsulates in 15 words the whole idea of physical determinism. And that's that because physical laws are universal and cause and effect, anything that happened during the Big Bang, or the first morning, would be directly responsible for every event that would happen after that, including the acts of humans, because we are, in essence, just complicated physical systems, and much at the whims of cause and effect as simple systems like my ice cream. So, given all that, I don't think it's unreasonable to accept that given the way things are at present, there's only one way for the future to turn out. So, it looks like we might just be gears in the universal machine, but I don't know about you. I plan on enjoying myself.